What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome to another live Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle. Today we are battling Steven in a rematch from the last set of uh, battles that we had with whatever that mixed tier team was with Togekiss and all that jazz. Anyway, today we are doing NU and I'm going to be bringing this team for a few battles so that's pretty exciting. I guess I should choose music really fast. Let's go with music 23. Have some pretty interesting things here. Um, the battle box is for battle spot, so we're not using that. We're looking at the party Pokemon. We do have, let's see, let's go over this team here. Uh, I got a couple of standard things. Uh, defensive Pelipper, it's not packing the Defog. We do have uh, Rapid Spin, and that is going to be on our Hitmonchan, which is also packing uh, Foresight, and then it's got a Fist Plate as well, so that's kind of interesting, I guess. Um, but anyway, the Foresight will allow us to prevent things like Miss Magius from spin blocking us. We do have Stealth Rock on our Steelix, which is kind of a weird setup. Uh, it's not fully defensive and it's not fully offensive. It's kind of just kind of a mix. It's also packing Dragon Tail for um, phasing things out. Then we have Choice Specs Pyroar, which is super standard. Uh, Nasty Plot, Life Orb, Simi Sage, which I thought would be cool as a you know, PU type Pokemon, because I wanted to bring something that wasn't just like super standard NU. And then we have probably the coolest Pokemon on this team, which is Slagoo, and it is Curse, Rest Talk, Outrage. I hope it kills something. I hope it kills a few things, um, because it's just, oh, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. I've used it quite a bit on Showdown. I finally got my hands on one, and I just hope it does a lot of things. Um, Hope it does a lot of things. So let's take a look at my opponent's team. I'm actually going to take a screen capture of that really, really quick. Um, hopefully that does not show up on the screen because I don't want it to. But I guess if it does, it's not the end of the world. Super, uh, super chill commentary today. I don't know why, but I just, I don't know. I'm feeling it. Uh, so we got Garbodor. That's going to be defensive, I'm assuming. And then he's got some very standardish threats, I want to say. Like Tauros is probably one of the best Pokemon, if not the best Pokemon, in all of uh, NU right now. So we gotta watch out for that. Uh, it could be Choice Scarf, could be Life Orb, it's got the Sheer Force, Combusken obviously is a threat, Gastrodon's probably gonna be defensive, maybe Swords Dance, but while, we'll have to wait and see. And then Mawile obviously, or not Mawile, uh, Malamar does see the superpower shenanigans. Um, so let's see what we want to lead off with here. Uh, he doesn't have any way to get rid of Hazards. And he has no spin blocker uh, if he were to try to stack hazards of his own uh, with Garbodor. So I guess I should make a choice on what we want to lead off with here. Um, his team is also pretty weak to Pyroar, I'm noticing. I am noticing. But we're going to lead off with Stanley um, because I want to get up Stealth Rocks in case that Combusken is like Focus Sash. Um, and we'll go from there. We will go from there. I do have a picture of the team up on here. It actually worked and it didn't show up on the recording, I don't think. So we're okay. We are okay. Uh, I want to apologize to you guys for uh, maybe the crackling in the audio. I have not been able to fix it. I've tried messing with the audio levels. I've tried reinstalling my drivers. I've tried everything you can think of. Um, and I've just been getting random like crackling noises. So I'm trying, to, trying my best to contain it. I hope it doesn't ruin the video for you guys. But yeah, um, so let's see here, we got Malamar. We got Malamar, and I don't know that he's gonna wanna set up on me, if he's gonna be a superpower type guy. Uh, I don't really have anything for Malamar, do I? Um, not really. Not really, I can phase him out though if he doesn't have uh, like substitute, so that's cool. That is cool beans. Roar would have been nice if he does have substitute. But what we're going to do here is we're just going to uh, throw up the stealth rocks here. Uh, he is going to go right for the superpower. Okay then. Okay then. That's... I don't think it's going to be enough to take me out. Um, unfortunately, that means Steelix is going to be quite weakened. Um, hmm. See how I want to play this here. I could predict another superpower and switch into Pelipper. But... There's not a whole lot I can do. Um, yeah. I am going to be able to outspeed him with um, Pyroar, unless he's Choice Scarf. I'm assuming he's going to be like Leftovers, though. That would be my guess. Um, looking at the rest of his team, 
Do I need Power Orb for something? It would be really nice for a while. And Choice Specs would do a lot of damage to Garbodor as well because it's probably physically defensive. So, do I need Steelix for anything? Maybe for Tauros? It could be nice for a while too. Okay, maybe we don't want to just let him kill me here. Um, perhaps Prince is the best way to go? Uh, he could be Rest Talk though. He could be Rest Talk. Okay, you know what? I'm going to just get rid of you. Um, we're going to Dragon Tail him out here. Yeah, he's got a superpower again. I'm kind of worried that this is Rest Talk. I'm gonna just take the damage. Thankfully, he did not crit me. Otherwise, I would have probably just cried. Probably would have just cried. I also probably would have cried if Dragon Tail missed right there. Oh my goodness. I I would have had a problem with that. Anyway, he's going to uh, switch into his Combuskin here. Obviously, against his will. Uh, no speed boost because I Dragon Tailed him out, right? That's how that mechanic works? Right. Okay. So we got the Stealth Rock damage off, we got rid of that threat in Malamar, and hopefully we can deal with it when he goes out into it next time. Now he can just kill me here, but I really see no reason not to just switch into Pelper. Like, what could he possibly have? What could he possibly have? He's not going to Sword Stance here, I don't think. Unless he's really thinking I'm going to want to save this. Um, but this could be some great fodder for later on, so I see no reason to not just go into Prince. Because Prince resists the stabs. Uh, I don't have the Rocky Helmet, unfortunately. But I can U-turn, predicting him to want to switch out. I don't think he's going to want to stay in. Um, so I think that's the play we're going to make. We're going to go into Pelipper here, and I'm expecting a Flare Blitz or a Sky Uppercut or something along those lines. Not a Swords Dance. Um, yeah, he's just going to Flare Blitz. That is not going to be doing too much because this is fully physically defensive, Pelper. And was that a critical hit? Yes, it was. Figured it had to be. And, okay, I was about to say, was that Life Orb? No, it's just Flare Blitz recoil. And I'm silly. I am a silly person. We're going to see the speed boost here. He could have Baton Pass. Um, which, which stinks. I don't like Baton Pass. Um, do I have any reason to not Scald? <sighs> I don't see him wanting to stay out here. I really do not see him wanting to just stay out. Even if he's Eevee Light, he's not going to want to take uh, a Hurricane or a Scald. So I feel like U-Turn is the best play. Who would he want to go out into? Um, probably Gastrodon would be his play. And I can use this opportunity to get a safe switch into... Let's see, unfortunately, Mawile is the thing that's going to be holding back Sally, the... Uh, this Lagoo from doing things. I was hoping he wasn't going to have that. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. I do have HP Grass on uh, my Pyroar too. But anyway, let's just see what happens here. We're going to U-turn out. Yeah, he is going to He's gonna just straight withdraw. There's really no reason for him to stay out. Um, and he's going to go into the Gastrodon, as I figured he would. That was the best play, even if it is the predictable play. That's still basically what he needed to do. Um, it's a little bit early in the match for him to try to start like making predictions on what I'm going to do and that kind of thing. Um, so playing it safe there. See what I'm going to do. See if maybe he can uh, catch a Storm Drain boost, I guess. Now the question is... The question is... Do I go into Leo now? Probably not. HP Grass is not going to kill from like basically full health. But I can go into... Uh, Funky, the, the uh, semi-sage. Get up a nasty plot. Um, get up a nasty plot. Because, does he have anybody that outspeeds me? Like, what is Tauros' speed tier? That's what I need to know. Because I know semi-sage is 101. Isn't Tauros, like, uh, 100? Is it 100? I'm going to look it up really quick. Uh, just to be sure and make sure I don't just screw myself. No, it's 110. Okay. All right, good thing I looked at that. So he can't just go into Tauros and outspeed me and uh, just ruin my day, basically. Um, I do have Focus Blast to hit Tauros. So there's that. Um, what else do I have? I have Hidden Power Ice, too. That's right. Um, Garbodor is a problem. Crap. It's not really what I wanted. Not really what I wanted. Uh, I guess we're going to go into... Simi Sage here. We're gonna go into Simi Sage. 
Um, he's gonna want to switch. The question is, is it gonna be straight into Garbodor? He's not gonna go into Taurus because I don't think he's gonna want to take an attack. Um, and I don't think he's wanna, going to want to go into Mawile either. I also don't think he's gonna want to go into Combuskin. Really, his only play is Garbodor. Um, so I can pull a I can pull a switch here and go into my only play, which would be Leo. Basically, um, I don't think he's gonna stay in and try and ice beam me. I think it's a little bit of a risky play. I could go into Steelix, which I believe gets outsped by Garbodor. But then I can get a safe switch and then just hyper voice something. We're gonna go with Leo. We're gonna pull the double switch into Leo here. Um, because I'm expecting him to wanna go into Garbodor. So we will see what happens. That's a lot of just nonsense talk here. Hopefully he does not stay in. He does not. He does not. Garbodor? Garbodor? There it is. Okay. So now we are in a favorable matchup here. Um, because I can hit everything on his team for neutral damage. He has to guess here whether I'm going to go for Fire Blast or Flamethrower or whether or not I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. Um, and even still, if that Mawile is offensive, I don't know that he can take two Hyper Voices. So basically this thing just wrecks his team. Um, Combuskin, whether it's Evil Light or not, is not taking hits. I don't think he's going to want to switch Tauros in. He's going to have a rough time here. He's gonna have a rough time. Um, I'm thinking Hyper Voice is the best play. It hits everything neutrally except Mawile. Um, only thing is, I don't know that Hyper Voice will Oko this Garbodor. If he were to leave it in. That's a little bit scary, because I, I would have to take some damage. He could have Drain Punch. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go for Hyper Voice. That's, that's just the safe play here. So that's what I'm going for. We'll see what he does now. If he's going to switch in Gastrodon over a while. Those would be the only switches I can think of. Unless he's going to sacrifice something to get a safe switch. Um, but Pyroar should be able to punch a little bit of a hole into his team here. And weaken some things that we need to have weakened. I hope he goes into Mawile and we can 2 it KO that. I would gladly take a Sucker Punch to get rid of Mawile. Because then Sally is going to go in. Sally is going to just demolish everything. And it will be, it will be the best day. It will. It will be the best day. So he's thinking hard here. He's going to leave it in. And let's see how much damage this does. Not enough, but it weakened him a lot, which is great. He's going to get up spikes. That's okay. I can rapid spin those away. He has no spin blocker. Um, I can get a rapid spin off on basically anyone. Uh, not, not Malamar. I keep wanting to call him a while. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I can rapid spin on anyone except for Malamar, basically, basically, um, so now we'll see what he wants to do. I'm guessing he's just going to let this thing die. Uh, I really see no reason for him to want to keep it. That is good news for Hitmonchan, because then I can Drain Punch freely. So let's just click Hyper Voice again, we're locked into it. He's going to withdraw, actually. What? Back into Gastrodon, is this specially defensive? It has to be. It has to be specially defensive if he's switching it in on uh, Choice Specs Pyroar. And that is going to be a 2 at KO, even with lefties. I don't think that was a good play on his part. I think he needed to let me kill that. Um, because now he's got Garbodor and Gastrodon weakened, and I'm going to get another kill. I'm going to get one kill here. He can't, he can't get out of it. He's got nothing that can take two Hyper Voices from this thing that I know of with Stealth Rock. Unless it's like specially defensive a while, maybe? I guess that's possible. But looking at his team, that's looking like an offensive Pokemon. He's got Garbodor and Gastrodon that are defensive. Yeah, he's just going to let Gastrodon go down here. That is fine by me. Uh, that means I can fire off Scalds with Pelipper with uh, pretty much no worries whatsoever. He's got nothing to absorb it. Combuskin's not going to like taking that. Uh, Malamar does not want to get burned because he'll either have to rest if he has that or he'll just be burned. And <laughs> that's obviously a problem. Uh, Taurus doesn't want to switch in on a skull, so we're in good shape here. We are in good shape. Feeling good. Feeling good about this team. I feel like I'm just... No. I don't know what I feel. I do not know. I'm just hoping that the audio turns out okay. Those audio pops have been so annoying. 
Like, because I can't remove them uh, in post-production without distorting how the audio sounds. So, it's kind of frustrating, especially because the mic is relatively new. It's not a mic problem. Um, something else. I'm going to have to keep messing with it to try to figure out what's going on. Try different programs, too, on recording. Um, hmm. Yes. So, he's taking some time to think here. I'm assuming Tauros, because he outspeeds me. Uh, I mean, that could be Choice Scarf Tauros, in which case he's saving that for a revenge kill. Um, he's got a tough decision here. This Pyro just wrecks his team. It really just wrecks his team. He's got nothing that's a safe switch in. Uh, Gastronaut is gone, so he has no switch in to Fire Blast now. Uh, and I'm just going to keep going for Fire Blast when he does switch in. He is going to go into Tauros here. Um, if he's Sheer Force Life Orb, that might just Oko me, to be completely honest. But I do have, uh, Stanley that I can switch into. I feel like I have, like, fuzzies in my nose. I'm just gonna pick my nose right here on face cam, like, I'm, that's, that's just what we're doing. It is just what we're doing. So I have two options. Like I said, we have, uh, Steelix, that I could fodder off here, um, and then get a safe switch into Hitmonchan. To mock punch but that's not gonna do enough damage um, I also have Pelipper who is pretty much a safe switch like what would he carry rock slide potentially that would hurt um, I can go into Stanley here to see if he has the rock slide um, that would be that would be something hmm this guy's a problem this guy is a problem. Do I need Pelipper for anything else? Uh, that Mawile could be a problem. And Combuskin. Alright, we're gonna go into Stanley. I wanna see what move he goes for here. Um, it could just be Earthquake. That's possible. That is very possible. I wanna see if he's gonna show off the Rock Slide, though. That's what I'm really interested to see. Uh, we can survive those spikes. He is gonna go for the Rock Slide. Um, is that even gonna kill? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> he's. That's the downside, though. We don't know if he's Life Orb or not. Um, he's not going to show that with Sheer Force. Um, but he does have the Rock Slide, which is going to do a lot of damage to Prince. Um, he could have Zen Headbutt, which would do a lot of damage to Hitmonchan. I don't really need Hitmonchan for anything else, to be completely honest. Um, I have nothing that outspeeds this, though. Nothing that outspeeds this, and with Mawile around, I cannot go into Sally. Taurus is the biggest problem on my opponent's team, for sure. For sure. Now, Rock Slide would not kill Pelipper, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Um, and he could flinch me, and if he flinches me, he can knock me out. Easy. Easy peasy. Um, I'm going to go into Hitmonchan here. We're going to go into Hitmonchan. We're going to try to scare him out with a, uh, a Mach Punch. I don't think he's going to want to leave him in here. I don't think. Hmm. I mean, I guess he could. I guess he could, and that means I will not get off a Rapid Spin if he does leave him in to go for a uh, Zen Headbutt. But I don't need Hitmonchan for anything else. Like, he doesn't have any other fast Pokemon on his team except for Combuskin, but as long as Pelipper is alive, that Combuskin is not a problem. Um, we're going to Mach Punch here. If he goes into Garbodor, I'm Rapid Spinning. Um, so that's pretty much the way it's going to be. Mach Punch it is. Uh, he is going to switch out. I'm guessing Garbodor is coming here. I'm guessing... No. Uh, yeah, Garbodor. All right, all right. So let's see how much damage this does with Stealth Rock. Uh, I don't know. If he's fully physically defensive, he's probably going to live. And yes, he is, which is good news because I can Rapid Spin, which is exactly what I wanted. Rapid Spin will kill. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. He has no other switch-ins, so Rapid Spin it is. And uh, that means Tauros 2 is going to take some extra, um, ouch, Aftermath. Is that Rocky Helmet too? Wow, we just took a buttload of damage. Uh, but Tauros is going to take more Stealth North damage coming in, so that's helpful. Hitmonchan is not dead. Probably going to save that Mach Punch specifically for Tauros because, like I said, that is the biggest problem on my opponent's team. Um, for me, I am running max speed with Adamant. So that's something. That is something indeed. Not that that's going to outspeed Tauros, but figured I would just offer that. 
as a, as a nice little tidbit of information, because why not? Who doesn't like tidbits of information? I know I do. I'm basically stalling until he sends out another Pokemon here. I don't know exactly what he's going to want to do. He could try to go out to the wild, get an Intimidate off, and maybe like set up a Swords Dance. That's a possibility. And he could bank on the fact that I really want to save Hitmonchan for Mach Punch. He knows I have it now. So there's, there's that. There is that. We will see. We will see. Turns out I'm not going to need Foresight. I mean, I don't even need the Rapid Spin. Not anymore, because uh, the only thing that would have Stealth Rock would be the Mawai. And like I said a bunch of times, I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but I'm almost certain that that's offensive. Pretty much has to be. Pretty much has to be. But uh, yeah, he's considering his moves here. He is considering his moves because this is kind of an important part of the battle. Kind of an important juncture. What he does here could really impact the rest of the game. He needs to be strategic with that Tauros, and he's going to go into Malamar here. Um, I'm assuming I outspeed that. I'm going to double check the speed tier on Malamar. I need to really get, um, like, I don't know, reacquainted with the speed tier. They used to have so many of them memorized. He's 73 base speed. Um, so I don't think he's running max speed. I don't think he is. Um, he could be Choice Scarf, though. That's the thing. That's the thing that we did not consider. So I'm not going to leave Hitmonchan Chan. Hitmonchan out here. There's really no reason um, whatsoever. <sighs> well, there kind of is. There kind of is. Um, I don't want to switch Pyroar out on a freaking superpower. That is the, the main issue that I'm having here. Um, I don't really need, I don't need Semi-Sage. Like, Semi-Sage does not really do anything to Mawile. Uh, it doesn't do much to Combuskin. It does not outspeed Tauros. And Garbodor is gone. And so is Gastrodon. So, uh, I'm kind of tempted to just go out into Semi-Sage here. Hmm. Now, let's go out into Prince. We're going to go out into Pelipper. I mean, that is kind of the predictable play. We may see a knockoff here. We may see Superpower. I'm not sure. If he's Choice Scarf and locked into Superpower, that's good for us. He is going to go for the Superpower. I'm hoping he's not Rest Talk. I'm really hoping he's not. Um, yeah, there's his attack and defense rising. He is Leftovers, so he could very easily be Rest Talk. Um, hmm. Very easily, he could be Rest Talk here. Uh, let's see what we want to do. That is a problem. He could be specially defensive. Specially defensive. So I guess Malamar and Tauros are the, the most dangerous Pokemon. I don't have anything to hit him with super effectively. Um, at least that rules out Choice Scarf, so I, so I should be able to outspeed him with... Hitmonchan, for future reference, but I can't phase him out here. Um, yeah, that is a bit of a problem, um, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to double-check speed tiers again. I feel like I'm doing this way too much, um, but I'm almost positive that Pelipper will outspeed, question mark? I know Pelipper is base 65, but what is Malamar is the question. Uh, 73. Okay, so that means we can get a slow U-turn off here. That is good news. That is what I wanted to hear. U-turn it is. Um, and that's going to do some, some extra good damage, too. Extra good damage because he is Dark and Psychic type. Yes. Yes. Um, although he is at plus two defense, so I guess. And it's Pelipper, so it's not going to be doing that much. Ah, that actually did a solid chunk. Okay. All right. So now, I can go into... Anybody I want, basically. Anybody I want. I guess not Hitmonchan. Um, Pyroar it is. I can go for Flamethrower safely here. Um, hmm. He still has Combuskin, though. But if he goes into Combuskin, I'm just going to switch right out into... Uh, into Pelipper. Like, I see no reason 
Do I risk going for Fire Blast? That is the question. Um, I don't know if it's going to be doing enough to hit him with a Flamethrower here. It should bring him into a range where I can KO him afterwards. But what happens if I miss the Fire Blast and he superpowers me? Like, I just lose, basically. So I need to get damage off, which means Flamethrower it is... Um, yeah, even if he switches into Combuskin, it's going to take a decent chunk from that. Um, I, I just don't want to risk the miss here, so we're going for Flamethrower. He's probably going to stay in, I'm assuming, to continue and you know keep his boosts and all that. All that jazz. I really don't like Malamar. I really do not. I do not. Not a fan. I've used him a few times, and he was okay. But I don't know. There's something about him. Like, the typing is cool. I think his design is cool. But just competitively, I don't know. He's just kind of meh to me, for whatever reason. He is going to withdraw here. What? And go into... What is this? The Mawile predicting a hyper voice, I guess. Or predicting me to double switch. Uh, or to get a safe switch into safe switch into Tauros because then I lose somebody basically okay I can understand that I don't have any fodder at this point other than Simi Sage um, so my wild's gone which means Sally Sally is a thing now we get a safe switch into Sally we are in business we are in business, especially if he is out with, like, Combuskin, um, or even Malamar, can set up on Malamar, um, although knockoff, knockoff is a thing. Alright, so he's gonna go out to Taurus here, he's gonna go for Rock Slide, because that hits everybody for lots of, lots of damage. That will not kill Hitmonchan, I don't think. Um, but I'm not gonna risk it, because I wanna save that Mach Punch. Definitely wanna save that Mach Punch, I wanna save... Pelipper for Combuskin. So, I could go out into Sally here. I don't feel like Rock Slide is going to be doing that much. Um, and then I can get up a Curse. And then uh, rest off the damage and then Sleep Talk. Or we could just go into Simi Sage because I don't need it for anything. Then I can get a safe switch and not have to take damage on... Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, alright. Got to play smart here. We don't need Simi Sage for anything. We needed it for Gastrodon. Gastrodon is gone, so now he is basically fodder. That's what it comes down to. He's going to go for the Rock Slide here. This will probably do about half, maybe. Um, does well over half. That's definitely Life Orb. Um, he does outspeed me, so he's going to kill me here, I'm assuming. Um, hmm. There's always a chance that he misses. Um... I really see no reason to not just click Focus Blast. Um, while is gone. He's just got Tauros, Malamar, Combuskin. Focus Blast hits everything neutrally. And that is what we are going for. He's going to go for the Rock Slide. He hits it again. So now we get the safe switch into... Well, we could go into Hitmonchan here, too. Um, for sure. And force him out. Hmm. But this is a good opportunity to set up. It really, really is. It really, really is. And I want Sally to shine. I just do. I just do. Um, I'm really hoping that Rock Climb is not a 2 at KO. I do have some defense investment, even though I am cursed, which is kind of strange. Um, hopefully, I didn't just screw this up. Um, we're going to see. Curse. Curse it is. Curse it is, and I do have max HP investment too, so I should be able to take a hit here. Um, you might want to go out right into Malamar to get rid of my Eevee Light, which is an option. Which is an option, but not before we get a hit off on him. Um, so somebody's taking damage here. Somebody's going to be taking damage unless we get a critical hit or he has like Rock Climb and that does more damage than what I thought. He is going to withdraw. Let's see what he goes into. Either Combuskin or Malamar. It's going to be Malamar. Because he's going to want to get rid of the freaking thing. The freaking thing. Um, now the question is... <sighs> I revealed my set here. I revealed my set. So... Do I just go for another curse? Is the question. He's gonna go for knockoff. 
He's gonna go for Nago. Um, I don't really have anything that I want to switch in. I really don't. Um, he can't kill me, though. That's for sure. So we are going to curse again. We're going to get up as many defense boosts as possible. Here comes the knockoff. So our Eviolite is gone. I kind of did a lot of damage. kind of did a lot of damage. Not going to lie here. Not going to lie. Um, we're just going to keep cursing. He's going to try to superpower. Um, then we can rest. Then we can sleep talk. It'll be a good time. Curse again. Superpower's coming. Yep, here it is. Freaking hate Malamar, my goodness. He's gonna run out of superpowers eventually. <laughs> I really hope he doesn't score a very timely critical hit either. That would be really, really unfortunate. Um, so anyway, we're at plus three attack, plus three defense. Uh, I don't know that I can go for another curse here. Don't really want to risk it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to rest up as he goes for superpower again. So now he's gonna be pretty much at even um, because he's gonna get another attack off before we can attack. Which is unfortunate. Stupid Malamar. My goodness. My goodness. Uh, we'll see how much it does. We will see how much it does. Even if he gets up to plus two. Um, he is already at plus two. Or plus three. He's about to be a plus three. I can't keep track of anything. Sleep talk it is. Oh my goodness. Superpower again. Oh my goodness. I may have to just hit this thing with a fire blast. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of it. Um, let's hope we pull outrage or another curse here and not nothing. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we get. Outrage. All right. That's fine. That is completely fine. Let's see how much it does. Uh, that's a solid chunk. With lefties, is that going to be enough to take him out? Uh, that might be a roll. Or actually, no, it might not even be enough. Um, we have to sleep talk again. He's going to superpower again, probably. Oh, man. Is he going to be able to kill me? Yeah, he's going to be able to kill me next turn. Uh, unless we get an outrage and kill him. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Let's see. Pull an outrage here. Get some more damage off on this thing. No! Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? He's gonna get two more turns of lefties now. <sighs> Come on, man. That really sucks. Now he's gonna superpower again. I freaking hate this thing. Like, honestly, I do. Um, I basically have to rest here. Um, hmm. Yep, I have to rest. And he's going to go for the knockoff, just in case I was going to switch. Which makes sense. Stupid Malamar. I feel like I've said that a bunch of times. He gets more lefties recovery. And I don't know if Specs Flamethrower will kill from there, to be completely honest. I guess if it doesn't, and he kills me with a superpower, I can go into Hitmonchan. Um, and I should outspeed him. So that is something. What else does he have? He's got Combuskin. That cannot take out... Um, Pelper. Alright. So we're still okay here. We are still okay. The problem here becomes... Do I, I guess I have to go for Flamethrower. If I go for Fire Blast, I just lose. Like, there's no way for me to win if I miss a Fire Blast here. Um, so, with that being said, I guess Hyper Voice is the play. Not Flamethrower. Um... He might try to switch here. He might sacrifice his Combuskin in order to get a safe switch into Tauros. If he does that, then I can sacrifice Pelipper. Um, I don't I don't see him wanting to give up all of his boosts. I really do not see that happening. So we're going to Hyper Voice here. He is going to stay in. Please kill this thing from here. Okay. My heart almost stopped there for a second. I thought it stopped with like this much HP. This much. And I would have been very sad. Um, whew, okay, so this thing's gonna take more damage. Um, and with the Fist Plate plus Iron Fist, I think Mach Punch might just kill him from there. 
It's very, very possible. Um, very, very possible. Do I need to hold on to this thing? I mean, it should Oko Combuskin. Um, but he could outspeed me with a speed boost, like protect. He could protect. And then uh, Sky Uppercut, and then I'd be very, very sad. Um, there's also the chance that Rock Slide just doesn't Oko. Um, I'm just gonna stay in hyper. I don't see any reason because he, he can't he can't beat Combustion. Like it's just not happening unless he has a rock move. Um, but I don't think he does. I think he's got stab and then protect and then probably sword stance. Um, and that's not gonna be enough. So we're gonna hyper voice here. He's gonna outspeed me. He goes for the rock slide and we avoid the attack. That's gonna be game. That is gonna be game. That was a very very untimely miss. Wow. That was such an untimely miss. I don't know what the calculation is on that. I would have to calc it. Um, obviously, if it didn't kill Pyro, he did have a chance to flinch. But he needed Tauros to hit that, and he did not. That sucks. That sucks. I would be raging right now just because that was your only chance to win. Um, if there was a chance. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know the calc. That sucks. That sucks. Oh my goodness. Uh, so now he's got to think of a plan on how to come back with this Combustion. And I don't know how he's going to do it. I do not know how. Um, I don't see it happening. I just do not. I guess we can hold on to Hitmonchan. I, I, I guess we, we don't need to switch. Like, if he's going to protect, he's going to protect. He would still need to hit a Sky Uppercut um, without a boost. That might still kill, potentially, especially if he's adamant, which a lot of them are. Um, we'll have to see. We will have to see. I feel like this was a very back and forth battle. Um, I feel like we made some good predictions at the beginning, um, but Pokemon like Tauros are just, they're just monsters. They're just monsters. Like I said, Tauros is probably the single best Pokemon in NU right now. Like, it's just not even close. Um, I'm assuming he's going to want to protect. Like, why wouldn't he want to just protect here? Um, but I don't think he can kill. Yeah, I just, I don't see it happening. We're just going to, we're going to stick with it. I'm going to Hyper Voice. There's the Protect. I guess I could have used that to get a safe switch into Pelipper. Um, but it really doesn't matter at this point. It really doesn't matter. Um, he could be Eevee Light, so that's a thing. We're gonna Hyper Voice, and we still have speed. Even after the speed boost, he should be dead. Uh, yeah, whether he has Eevee Light or not. That is gonna be the battle, so that is going to be a 3-0 in our favor. That was a lot of fun, and uh, it was pretty nerve-wracking there for a little bit. I thought that we were gonna lose. Um, Especially because things did not really go our way with Sally. I was hoping she was going to be able to pull off a little bit more, but it did not happen. Anyway, I want to thank... Uh, what was your username? I know your name is Steven, but I don't know what your username is. Your in-game name. Anyway, it was a great battle. Thank you so much for the match. Your team was really cool. Great to see uh, everything, basically. Except except Tauros, maybe. Um, Taurus is still cool. I don't know. What am I saying? Taurus is awesome. Thank you for the battle. Yeah, his in-game name is Steven. I'm all over the place right now, but I'm going to go record another battle after this, so I will see you guys uh, then. But until then, uh, game on.